we have done um, we have used uh, big numbers we have uh, initially when we select created the selection criteria uh, we used of around 400 patients of which 222 were actually uh, came through uh, as, as patients whom we can use uh, to create the selection criteria we did a logistic regression analysis and few, found few factors like a previous history of cancer multiple lesions uh, lesion size less than 4 cm and uh, and the infratendoral lesion are actually significant, uh, um, are significantly associated with the chance of finding a metastasis rather than a primary. So we said that if patients have this, do a CT cap. If they don't have this, don't do a CT cap. At the same time, you know, we tested a few protocols, uh, a combination of these factors to see if our hit rates will improve. Uh, we did this using a validation cohort. So uh, we took another patient, another set of uh, 200 odd patients and tested these protocols in these 200 odd patients and found that the rates are better if we use these four criteria. So that's what we suggested. Uh, yes, there is definitely room for improvement. Uh, this is a single institute uh, study. So we propose that we apply it nationally and see uh, how many patients we are actually missing. So the key thing is, uh, how many patients are being missed uh, to have a CT cap? Means they have a metastasis, but they come onto the MDT without having a CT abdominal pelvis. So I'm looking in. Next step is to look into that. So if we get that numbers, then we can see if we can include any other criteria to improve our selection. 